Now, guys, I had never read a Franklin book before. I think I'd seen the cartoon. I believe there's a cartoon. I think I'd seen it on TV. But I never read Franklin in the Dark. This is my first Franklin story. Here you can see it's a classic. This is by Paulette Bourgeois and Brenda Clark. And it originally was published in 1986. So what I really liked about this book is cute, simple story. Um, where Franklin, being a turtle, is kind of afraid of small dark places, namely his shell. And each page in the beginning is laid out like this. Text on one side, full page or double page picture on the other. And this is your standard sort of children's story where they, one animal goes through, or one animal or child or whatever, goes through and meets a bunch of different animals on a little quest. As you can see, the artwork here is really beautiful. These, uh, you know, just fantastic illustrations. Full page on one side, text on the other. Meets a duck, meets a lion. Meets a bird, look at that. And lots to look at in every one of these bright, beautiful pictures. Now as the book goes on though, the layouts change to double page, full color obviously, and a little bit less text, but more context. And the, the pace of the story slows down. The last, I'd say the last five, six, maybe seven pages are just Franklin having a conversation with his mom about what he found out and what he's learned, which is that Maybe there's really a simple solution that if everybody's afraid of something, you can easily solve it with maybe just a little nightlight. Because all of the animals that Franklin met had a solution for what they were afraid of. The polar bear had snow pants because he's afraid of freezing. And the bird had a parachute because he was afraid of falling out the sky. So a nice simple message for your kids also that, you know, sometimes if you're afraid of something, just find something that makes you feel secure, that solves that problem in a simple way. And you can get on with life. So I enjoyed my first Franklin book. I'll be sure to check out others with my kids. I know my son, both my five-year-old and my two-year-old enjoyed it. And I'm sure your kids will as well.